And we find ourselves at one of the most iconic venues in world football, the Santiago Bernabeu here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me in the commentary position is the former England defender, Lee Dixon. And with the Spanish league season about to reach its conclusion, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Real Madrid against Girona. Well, what a season it's been, Derek. It's had absolutely everything. Drama at both ends of the table, spectacular goals and plenty of entertainment too. The players need to finish the season off strongly. We're looking forward to a great game here. The atmosphere is fantastic. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Kepa is given the green light in goal. Gaia starts with Carvajal as fullbacks. Marco Asensio plays with Vinicius Jr. in the wide areas. And leading the attack today is Kylian Mbappe. A really exciting game in prospect as Real Madrid get it underway. But he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Seung Ho Pike. Asensio. It might be the moment to get them ahead. There it is. And just the ideal start. Well, here it is again. It's just a perfectly weighty ball in behind and not a bad finish either. Great goal. And they're playing once more. Real Madrid with the lead here. Well, confirmation as we look at the table of newly crowned champions. I say that, but today is the day when they'll receive that much coveted piece of silverware, and then the party can really start it earnestly. Yeah, absolutely, the party can start. They've got 90 minutes of football to play. Promising looking ball. There's been a goal in the Barcelona match. Alan McAnally has details. It's a goal for Barcelona. It's been scored by Luis Suarez. The keeper totally misjudged the bounce of... Might it be Marco Asensio? What a vital intervention. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. Mbappe! Well, first-rate goalkeeping. Oh. He can't believe the goalkeeper saved that. That's brilliant. Apologies for interrupting Alan McAnally. Just to confirm, Barcelona did score in that match. They now lead by one goal to nil. Losing possession a bit easily. Sergio Ramos has been figuring prominently on the back pages in recent days. Delightful pass. Almost his second goal of this match, but the goalkeeper had his own views on that subject. Well, he'd be looking for a brace, the striker, not to be on that occasion. Great opportunity. And it's in. Real Madrid firmly in charge here. Well, it's good build-up, but there's one player standing in front of the goal. And it falls to him, and he's not going to miss from there. It's going their way, 2-0. And news coming through of a goal in the Malaga game. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for Malaga. 23 minutes, please. 1-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Well, the cross goes in, but there's no one available to snap onto it. And it crossed the byline. A goal kick as a result. Well, Real Madrid possession stats are brilliant. It's important to have strong, dominant players in your midfield, and they've got that. Just look at what that control gives you. Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe. And he's fired it against the post. And he's gone and scored for Real Madrid. Well, that's what Real Madrid do. They put you under pressure, and you normally crumble.
can take another look here. I'm sure the keeper is frustrated with the defending. Just afforded too much time in the box, and he's never going to miss that. Well, we're underway again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. And news of a goal in the Valencia game. Alan? It's a goal for Valencia. 31 minutes played. 1-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. But a shocking pass, really. Moving into the advanced position. Now the tackle, vivacious from Varane. And that's an important intervention. Alcala. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Very quick thinking there. Marco Asensio. Mbappe. Back from the byline. Joy for the Merengues. Real Madrid have scored. Well, they pushed and pushed. They tested and tested and they got their reward. Well, here it is, a striker's bread and butter, simple finish, but it's the positioning that gets him the goal. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. Space on the flank. Electing to cross into the centre. And a harmless cross, gobbled up. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of a real opening now. Still a chance. Mbappe. And the first time. Underway in the second half. And after such a lopsided first 45 minutes, is it possible to think they could turn this around? Se Jung Ho Pike. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. And dispossessed. Marco Asensio comprehensively outfoxed by his opponent. They don't normally need a second invitation to give it a real chance. Well, it is an occasion. And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, don't you just love counter-attack football? Pace, power, coordination. The movement off the ball is absolutely brilliant. And there's a finish to match. So they restart the game, and only one team in it. And news of a goal in the Villarreal game. Let's hear about it from Allen. It's a third goal for Villarreal. It's been scored by Ruben Pena. A lovely glancing header from a free kick. 54 minutes played, 3-0. Allen McAnally keeping us right up to date. He's lost it. It should be. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And he's banged it against the woodwork with the header. Well, we're talking inches. So, so close with his head. Real Madrid have given it away. And Alan McAnally is in place because there's been a goal at the Estadio de Mendy Tarota. Alan. It's a second goal for the visitors. It's been scored by John Guiderti. More pinball than football. The defenders were hitting the ball into each other before it broke and he fired it into the corner. 60 minutes played. 2 1. Cheers again, Alan.
Here is Marco Asensio. Fabinho now. Given away by Real Madrid. It's opening up for them. Failed to keep hold of it. Well, that's a splendid piece of challenging. This might have potential. Running towards goal. Well, they can say a big thank you to the goalkeeper. That was inspirational. Well, that's as good as a goal at the other end. Brilliant save from the keeper. Not a foul, but the advantage with Real Madrid. Marco Asensio comprehensively outfoxed by his opponent. Well, there's just no cohesion, Derek, in this defence. And they're taking full advantage. They're creating so much from midfield. And the forwards are having a half-decent day as well. I understand a goal has been scored in the Celta Vigo game. Alan Mack, a real opening now. His third goal of the match, and you cannot argue with that. Well, he's tearing this defence apart. They can't cope with him. Well, having scored two, he's going to get the hat-trick at some point, you feel. He's just... So full of confidence, never looked like missing. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Well, for understandable reasons, we had to cut off Alan McAnally. To clarify, Celta did score in that match. And they are running away with it, seemingly. 3-0 in front. And using his strength to shield the ball. Anthony Lozano. Unai Lopez. Seung Ho Pike. This looks promising. Getting forward. And news of a goal in the Villarreal match. Let's hear about that goal from Alan McAnally. It's another goal for Villarreal. Six minutes remain. And he's in. And it's there for him. Has a go. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Apologies to our viewers for cutting Alan McAnally short there. To clarify, Villarreal did find the net in that game. And they're giving it a try. And somehow he prevents a goal. Well, it looked a certain goal, Derek. The agility, the reflex is unbelievable. Much more straightforward for the keeper this time, but previously he had work to do. Well, double bubble. He gets the ball in the end, but the first save he makes, absolutely brilliant. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Well, they were clearly on the receiving end, so a free kick is next. One minute remaining. Now you've got to try to make it a bit more difficult for your opponent than that. Well, in a way, the game has had an academic quality about it. Everyone on the ground, including the players, really waiting for this moment where they can celebrate their considerable accomplishments this season. The trophy to be awarded any minute now. Well, there's no better place to receive the accolades coming to you than in front of your own fans, giving something back, sharing the glory together. Absolutely fantastic. Memories, memories for players in these situations, Lee. Well, it's always nice to win any trophy, cup competitions. But when you win your own domestic league, that, to me, is the pinnacle of being a player. Yet the table does not lie. And so, the league champions... Brilliant, they deserve it. They really have been the best team this season. And that's where you end up, top of the pile. And not by accident either. All part of the master plan. And the trophy is theirs. Well, this is the best moment for me, sharing things with the fans.
They've deserved everything they've got this season. The players have, but certainly the supporters. They've given the players absolutely 100% support all season. And this is their reward. It's really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. Well, to win any league, Derek, you have to have consistency. You have to be dynamic, demanding of your teammates. They've been all that and more. Congratulations. Would certainly echo those sentiments, Lee. You